need the representation of an award show if that award show is corrupt. For another day. Oh hi! What's up you dazzling people? How are you doing today? My name is Dion Yorkie. I am a pop musician and lover of makeup artistry. So, if you like all things music and you like makeup, then stay tuned to the first ever episode of Music and Makeup Mondays. Yeah! Except it's a Wednesday because The weekend just released his new song and I just finally came up with this concept. We never do things on time on this channel, right? So, hi! What's up? <laughs> so for this series, I thought every Monday, except the first episode's gonna be on a Wednesday, please forgive me, we could recreate a musician's iconic makeup look from an iconic music video. So please give me suggestions below for other artists I should do, other music videos I should focus on. And then, yeah, we're just gonna chat about the artist, the song, the look, the video, the tea, the gossip, the drama, the spill, the moment of the century. Sound good? Okay, keep on watching. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, I am a pop musician. I just released a new song called Deranged um, on Friday. This crazy background you can see behind me was actually a part of the music video, so I will link that below so you can check it out. And um, yes, I'm very, very excited for this one. So basically, if you didn't know, The weekend showed up, I think it was to Jimmy Kimmel Live, um, with a bunch of bandages on his face. And he was all out, uh, botched. And everyone was like, what is going on? The weekend has always been pulling some stunts and trickery with his transformations and stuff, which, which as an artist myself, I love that. I just think expressing yourself through visual means is always fun and it allows you to see who the artist is as a person. So I thought that was super cool. Nobody really knew what was going on. I kind of guessed it was stunts and shenanigans from the start. Then yesterday, out of nowhere, he releases the music video for his new song, Save Your Tears. And he has lip filler and cheek filler and like Botox and everything going on. But it is all prosthetics. I don't know about y'all. Let me know if you were fooled or if you were like, hmm, I see see something's up here. I immediately drew parallels to Alexis Stone, who did the big reveal last year on Instagram, y'all probably know. So basically, I'm gonna try and do this prosthetics look with just makeup, because uh, I don't have prosthetics, and I thought it would be like a fun little challenge. So let me know if you have any other artists, iconic makeup looks in their music videos that you want me to try and dazzle you with, darling. If y'all want to see more of this series, please do let me know, like this video, share, subscribe, and yeah, maybe I'll see you next Monday for episode two. Okay, let's do this thing. Half my makeup brushes are dirty from when I did the cover of my new song, Deranged. Is anyone else the same where you just don't clean your brushes enough? I found this photo on the Daily Mail. So that's what I'll be referencing. Referencing? It's just a botched, crooked nose, super defined cheekbones, um, a nice glossy lip, um, and then it looks like almost like a muddy green eyeshadow moment. But we love a good drag moment, Seb. My beautiful fiance got me this for Christmas. I haven't used it yet. Oh my god, like this shade right here. If I mix this one with like this one. Looks like we're using this palette today, y'all. Let's just get my hair back. First things first. I like to just do this. It's really glamorous. Dazzling. Oh, and I also, I would usually shave before putting on makeup, but I did not today because the weekend has facial hair. So while I lay my primer down, let's get more into what really happened with the weekend, okay? When the weekend came out, the blinding lights, which was my most streamed song of the year, you know, like the Spotify rap. Yes, I absolutely adore that song. And I said, who I'm blinded by the lights. No, I can't sleep until I feel your touch. Ay, ay, ay. The weekend had like the cover of like his nose all destroyed. So there's a constant storyline of like facial evolution going on here. I don't know about y'all, but I love when an artist has like concepts planned out in advance and there's like little Easter eggs and stuff. I know Taylor Swift does a lot of that. It keeps you captivated and like it lets you see more of like what the artist's creative process is like. So I love that. This look is really just like intense contouring and going in with I just got this double wear stay in place makeup Estee Lauder foundation. It is amazing. I'm adoring every minute of it. Beautiful. It's dazzling. Absolutely dazzling. We put that all over the skin. So yeah, he had this whole story arc planned, I suppose. We stand. Blinding Lights was obviously like one of the best songs of last year. We get this Save Your Tears music video, which shows the weekend not only with this like prosthetic transformation face moment, but performing what seems to be at like an award show. I don't know. I'm sure y'all can let me know below if you have any conspiracies about all of this. It featured um, a female star. I don't know if there's some parallels there, like she was supposed to be representing someone else. I don't know all the tea, so if you do, please tell me below. What I gathered from it, the girl was Dixie D'Amelio. <laughs> 
and the weekend was telling her to just shoot him in the face because she got more recognition than he did. And we all know who deserved more. <laughs> If you don't know what I'm getting at here, The weekend was absolutely snubbed at the corrupt Grammys. So we all call them the Scammies because that's what they are. The weekend, I think it was the American Music Awards, had like three different awards for like R&B Soul and like Male Artist of the Year. It's not like he didn't deserve to be represented at the Grammys. Blinding Lights just, it's everything. Okay, we got that bass down. All about that bass, mama. Obviously The weekend was shading the Grammys by having this whole uh, music video saying, well, I don't really need your Grammys. I can make like a whole beautiful music video moment shading you to tears, which I'm here for, honestly. I love the drama. Knows his self-worth clearly, like he knows what he's about and he knows he deserved to be represented. So he's just gonna spit in their face kind of thing. And I think that's super funny. Know your worth. <laughs> what I think like on a deeper level happened, The weekend was like, I could change my entire face and you still wouldn't give me the acknowledgement I deserve. So I think he's making a commentary to that. I don't know, am I wrong? What do you guys think? Okay, here's what I deserve. That did not happen. I put out my best work in years and the Grammys don't care, so I could literally just be someone else at this point because who I am is clearly not sufficient for them. Um, which is so sad. The fact that he made this whole video kind of like mocking the Grammys, I think that's important because it speaks to the fact that he doesn't, and none of us artists really, need the representation of an award show if that award show is corrupt. So as you can see, I'm trying to like go in there, make my nose a little more crooked. I'm very like perfectionist with makeup, so doing it the opposite of that. An experience for sure. Super powerful message that I am here for. I don't know, I could be reading into it too much, but I'm probably not reading into it enough. Let me know if you guys have any more tea on that matter. And then the other tea we have with the situation Problem of artists not giving other artists credit. Now, I've seen a lot of TikToks about this, how a lot of people of color will be creating creative concepts and then those concepts often get stolen without credit by white creators. And we've seen this happen with uh, Charlie D'Amelio and other people doing the that TikTok dance, Renegade. And then we found out later on that this was a creation by a black choreographer. Then they got their rightful recognition, which was nice to see, but that does not always happen. So in this scenario, I don't want to make assumptions that The Weeknd did rob Alexis Stone's concept. The Weeknd is their own creative individual and they could have come up with this concept all by them themselves. But if they did take the idea from Alexis Stone, I think in any situation, the original artist or creator should always, always get the representation and the, you know? the credit that they deserve. It's such a journey, mentally, physically, emotionally, and pouring out your creativity and your soul. It's a lot, you know? So if you do that, and then what you do ends up to be successful for somebody else, and you're not getting the credit, that's very upsetting. So what I'm getting at here is that Alexa Stone posted on their Instagram, oh, coincidentally, The weekend had this concept when I did this exact same thing on Instagram last year. And I'm like, fair play. Maybe The weekend took inspiration from that. And it'd be nice if he mentioned Alexis because Alexis is a queer creator and deserves like the recognition. Alexis is absolutely stunningly talented. Yeah, I don't know, what do y'all think about that? I had a paper in college about how simultaneously around the year throughout history, like inventions will be made like Eastern Asia. And then another invention of very similar caliber is made in America. But that doesn't mean those two people necessarily knew about each other's invention. That's what happens, you know? Like people experience life and it inspires them to do things and maybe sometimes it inspires them to do this exact same thing. And it looks like they might've tried to give the weekend like a lip filler moment or maybe he just has naturally full lips. I don't know, but I don't. So I want that just been a pumped up injected look, you know what I'm saying? So in Save Your Tears, The weekend says, you could have told me that you fell apart, but you walked past me like I wasn't there and just pretended like you didn't care. Rewatch the music video. I totally saw in that part of the music video, like The weekend was shading the Grammys there, I feel, because you pretended I didn't exist in 2020 when I kind of like destroyed the charts. Good on him for doing that. The Scammies have been the Scammies for quite some time now, and it always blows my mind how people pay attention to like certain influencers or certain events that just don't deserve the attention anymore. They've lost that sort of like credibility and authenticity, not to mention like, you know, <laughs> influencers pretending COVID isn't a thing and then just getting all the views and all the love. And that doesn't come from a place of jealousy, so don't 
don't get it twisted. That comes from a place of frustration because these people have so many impressionable viewers. They're just, they're supporting them hardcore when they shouldn't be. It's promoting dangerous messages. I am about promoting the good, you know? Cutting that cheekbone and then I'm bringing it up and then I'm going in to the nose because obviously the weekend's nose looks super snatched because it was supposed to be a surgery moment. Okay, that's crooked, right? Oh, too much of a perfectionist. I want it to look dazzling. The first song I released in 2020 was Your Love. And Your Love, the whole vibe of it is like 80s. Um, and it's like 100% inspired by The Weeknd's vibe. Because I just love the whole like 80s sound. I love blinding lights. So I was like, okay, I want to I wanna experiment as an artist myself. So I came up with the song Your Love, which you could stream. It already has like 150,000 streams on Spotify. So thank you so much. I will link the music video below. I'm setting this and then I'm gonna go in with some powdered contour by just being your creative self. You have the power to inspire so many other people. If there's anything y'all wanna do in your life, but you get in your head about it, trust me, I get there too. <laughs> I've experienced the same sort of stresses and you just gotta kinda go with it, you know? Like ignore your inner saboteur, just do what feels right. If your soul, so to speak, is telling you to do something dazzling, then do it, darling! Ding dong! <laughs> because I was in my head this morning about doing this, I'm like, oh, nobody's gonna watch it. I usually do like pranks on my channel and a couple vlogs and stuff. So nobody's really gonna care if I want to do makeup videos inspired by a favorite your favorite musicians. It's an idea I've been sitting on for a while and I was just like, you know what? It's something I want to do. I need to stop getting in my head about it and just do it. That's kind of where I'm at with the whole thing. Props to The weekend for being just such a talented individual. I love powders because once you set all the cream, they fulfill your fantasies. I've been using this Natasha Winona palette I treated myself to for Christmas. This shade right here. Oh, I don't know. I just really love it for blush. But I just got the blush from Emma Mitchell in the mail. I'm very excited to try that out. So we might try that out next week, okay? How do y'all feel about plastic surgery? Like, to me, it's the same as anything else in life. If something makes somebody happy, then let them live. Stop getting so involved in other people's business. Oh, yes, that's what we're talking about. But I honestly just enjoyed this so much. Like, growing up in music has always been my passion. And now, in this last year and a half, I have made 10 original songs. And y'all have really seemed to like them. So that means the world. I promise more is coming. I've been working super hard on music. And then growing up, uh, the last maybe like five years, I've fallen in love with makeup. To be able to finally mix those two things together on my channel. I'm just so excited about this. So I hope you guys like this video. Okay, I snapped though with that eyeshadow moment. Like that is exactly the sort of brownish green I wanted to go for. I only recently started doing this whole like darker shade lip lining moment. And wow, it's amazing. We're setting and dazzling, darling. <laughs> I have had so much fun doing this. I would never ever do a makeup look like this. So yeah, um, I definitely think I want to keep this series going. So if you liked it, please give this video a big like, share, subscribe, and let me know. If you want to see me become next and dazzle you with my divine talents. Here's the weekend's look. Here's mine. Wait, let me do the face. He's got the microphone here and he's like, ooh, mom. Ooh, with the black glove he has on, so badass. Okay, but we're using a makeup brush, so. <laughs> That's the moment. Let's just. Is his mouth open? Yeah. Everybody, please welcome the weekend to the stage. I've been trying to call. I've been on my own for long enough. Maybe you could show me how to love. Maybe. Oh, 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 oh. since it is cold and empty, no one's around to judge me. I can see clearly when you're gone. Oh, on I said, ooh, I'm blinded by the lights. Oh, I can't sleep until I feel your touch. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm so sorry. We'll leave the singing of that song to the weekend. <laughs> but if you want to hear my songs, please do stream them. DionYorkie.com or on all music platforms. Links below. And go stream and watch the music video for Save Your Tears. I promise you will not be disappointed. The choreo, the makeup, the talent, the performance, the voice, the everything. And save your tears for another day. Fuck you, Grammys. <laughs> ah, okay, I've had so much fun with this. If you want to see another music and makeup Mondays on my channel on Monday <laughs> next time for episode two, let me know what you want to see. I will see y'all in the next one. I love you all so much. And um, yeah, that's about it. Bye bye! Let's get the range out of our minds. Shots interchange, blur the straight lines. Hold on to hope, the same as change. Up to no good, no good. Let's get deranged. Screw that to forget, let's get deranged.